going back to Vintage Story Mystic Winds, we have a mod on here called Bricklayers Mod, which is made by a guy called Tells. One of the aspects of the mod I want to explore is tiling. So this video is going to deal with how to make tiles with a few tips on tiling. Why would you want to make tiles? Well, the answer is from one polished stone block, you can make 16 tiles. So if you want to cover a floor, one block will cover 16 spaces as opposed to one space. So it does save a lot of the blocks and it saves a lot of resources. However, you do need to have crushed limestone and you do need to make mortar. This is how I made my kitchen floor. Well, I think it's time that we explored a little bit more of Tell's Bricklayers mod. I am gonna make some tiles. This is polished sandstone. Now I want to polish some more stone and see how these tiles look together. I'm also gonna need mortar for this. Uh, that's the wrong chest. I want to take one of these and see how this looks as a polished stone. It's slate, which I'm particularly keen on. It's the most beautiful color. Yeah, polished slate, oh my word. Let's make some tiles of that. Now I'm gonna need mortar to put these tiles together. I want to try to make a kitchen floor by tiling it. Now, to make mortar, we need to take lime and we then need to cook it. Right, the first thing we need to do is to make quick lime. So we need to bake this. Now the baking temperature is 825. Peat bakes at 900. So we can bake this with peat. Let's do that. Let's get this going. Now I've ground the lime up already. So we've got 33 lime and I think it's one is, I think it works on twos. We've got some peat, let's just check this. 825 baking temperature, 900 is peat. So we should be able to make quick lime. Let's just check that it works. Here we go. You can see that two lime creates 16 quick lime. This is crushed lime. And strangely enough, what I'm crushing in here is lime. Right, I have got 10 litres of water and I've got 40 quick lime and that is 40 litres of slaked lime. So this is the beginning of mortar. To make mortar, it's one litre of slaked lime plus one sand. So 10 litres to 10 sand. So if I put 10 sand in here, I immediately get 80 mortar and you need mortar to make tiles. Now in this chest, whoops, not that one. So in this chest, I have three different sorts of tiles and I'm going to make some of each to see how they look. Now I've got 80 mortar, but I don't need that many each tile you just need the same number of mortar as tiles. So basically, this is what you can stick them on with. So just, just as you would in real life, you know? That's those. And then we've got, I've got some slate, which is great. Right, now let's see what these tiles look like 
when we put them down. I'm not sure of the colour scheme I'm going to use yet because this is the kitchen floor I'm looking at. But the first thing I need to do is to clear the way here a little bit. I'll be back to you in a minute. Now, as far as I'm aware, you can put tiles on any surface. So we've got 16 of these beautiful slate ones. Let's see how this looks. Ooh, wow. Look at that. And then we can do fancy patterns with this. And I was thinking that this might be the way forwards. I think just the slate by itself is too, too harsh, but I thought slate around the outside would be nice. So I'm doing the inside with a decent pattern, I hope. We may have to wait till some of these are fired in order to finish the floor. But I think that looks really nice with slate around the outside, I think. Good. And look at that. That's fantastic. I Have I got another whole block of slate? I think I have. Whoops, not that. I love slate, so I'm constantly short of slate. So let's make that into a polished block. Pop it in there. Add that. 16 tiles and now we need some more mortar and mortar is incredible stuff you get so much with everything so we need another 16 mortar there we go and doing it in small batches i think is a good idea Nice, I like that. Do I like the slate around the outside? It's quite dark, isn't it? I mean, looking from here, it goes. But it is quite a dark look. I think I might, because a lot of what we're going to be using here is going to go around the outside. Let's leave it at that for the time being. I was wrong about any block being able to carry these tiles happily. They will, but if you use earth, as I have done for just a little bit of this floor, thank goodness I didn't use it for more, uh, you will find that the grass grows. And as the grass grows, the grass pushes the tiles off. I couldn't understand what was happening, but it's actually the grass. So we will now, I've got one more tile to do. Yeah, that will look a lot better and you'll notice it goes under other blocks. So one more piece of cobble under there and we'll be good to go. One more thing about tiles is that they don't just have to be horizontal. So if we want to, we can put them vertically. And you can also put them underneath like that. So if you want to tile around a whole doorway, you can do it. The other thing is if you put tiles on the floor, then you can put other blocks on top of them. So if you want to use them as tablecloths or things like that, easily done. The other huge benefit of tiles is that they're very easy to take up. Let's just take the 
pan up first. So if you don't like your floor or your walls, you can just take them up and move them. But they give a lot of buck for your money. So if you are wanting fancy floors at basically a sixteenth of the cost, I think that's a great way to get it. So that's a little bit of an introduction to tiling. Bye bye.